Let's field trip this Smith & Wesson Model 659. All right, so the first thing we are going to do is hit our magazine release and take out the magazine. And then we're gonna pull the slide back, check the chamber, make sure it's empty, which this is. And to take the slide back, you wanna make sure your hammer is cocked. And then we're gonna pull the slide back to where this notch here lines up with the takedown pin right here. So we're just gonna pull that back. And then once it's in place, there's a pin right here on the other side. You're just gonna to wanna to push that through, pull that back. And then again, we're gonna push on that pin until it comes out. This is pretty worn in, so it doesn't take much. If you have to use a punch, that's fine. Just pull that out, and then we're gonna push the slide forward. The hammer's gonna go forward as well. Just slide that right off the frame. That's about as far down as you have to do anything with the frame. To take the recoil spring and guide rod out, we're just gonna push it down, and it'll come up and out. And to remove the barrel, we have to take out this barrel lug right here, so we're gonna turn it to the side and then pull it out. And then you can lift out your barrel from the slide. And this is about as far down as you have to take it for your general cleaning and maintenance. And when you're ready to put it back together, we're just gonna reverse that process. We're gonna go ahead and take our slide and our barrel, drop that in. Then we're gonna take the barrel lug and put that back in. So we're gonna angle it right here until it slides in, push it over like that. And then we're gonna take our recoil spring guide rod and put that in. This little piece right here, you want to have sitting on that notch in the barrel right there. So when you put this in, you do want to make sure that is lined up on the front so that way it does go through and push it down. It does take a little bit of force, but it will eventually seat on that little ledge right there. And then we can take this and put it back onto the frame. And then before you get to your ejector stop, and we're going to have to push down the ejector to get the slide over that. And then these two right here, we're going to have to push these down as well just to make sure that the slide clears it. And when it does, then we're gonna go ahead and pull the slide back to where this lines up here, all right there. And you may have to move the barrel back a little bit just to make sure that that hole is clear to insert the pin. Put that in there until it's in there tight and we can release the slide. And then to do a function test, we're just gonna rack the slide a couple times. In order to test the trigger, you do have to have the magazine in there. So everything's good there. Put the magazine in. That's the trigger. Good to go. Simple as that. If you guys have any questions, let me know down in that comment section. Hit that like and subscribe button so you can be notified when we come out with more content like this. And check out this playlist here where we go over more field strips. Thanks for watching.